There are phases in our lives as we seek to excel in our work. Sport may provide a scary insight into when we're entering the danger zone. Find out more in today's show. Welcome back to Year 4, this weekly edition every Friday of the Japan Business Mastery Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Carnegie franchise owner Tokyo, master trainer, president of Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training and best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery and Japan Presentations Mastery. Zaegyo is the Japanese translation of Japan Sales Mastery. My new book is Stop Wasting Money on Training, or in Japanese, Training de Okane o Muda ni Suru no Yamima Shou. We are bringing the show to you from our studio in the High Performance Center in Akasaka in Minato-ku, the business center of Tokyo. This is episode number 165, and we are talking about leader ageism. Before we get going, a quick word from our sponsor. If you want to be successful as a leader, do the Leadership Training for Managers course. All companies need people who can both manage and lead. Leading people screams out for real skills in communication, dealing with all different types of people, being excellent at innovation, planning, delegation, handling mistakes, doing performance reviews really well, and inspiring and motivating the team. Do the Leadership Training for Managers course now in either Japanese or English. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy Japan Business Mastery now. Welcome back. Okay, now it's time for the show. So let's get going. Sport is a popular source of inspiration for corporate leadership. Coaches attend off-sites and make good money, telling executives how to be better motivators. Sports journalist Simon Cooper made an interesting observation in one of his columns in the Financial Times about famous football coaches falling into decline, supplanted by younger, more innovative rivals. These superstar coaches were the original innovators, but they ran out of gas. Well, not all of them. Almost as an aside, he flagged the difference between the shorter longevity of the innovators and those more hardy types who excelled at people management. This is an interesting observation because often we surge through our careers based on our ideas, innovation or technical expertise. In Cooper's article, the age of 40 was singled out. The planet started to align and leadership hopefuls began their move to the very top. In my native Australia, historically, you are not thought to be a real man until you reach the age of 40. At that point, you were considered to have amassed the knowledge, experience, as well as the physical strength. Cooper notes that at this age, when you get to the big promotions or the shot at a significant job, you have probably expended all of your innovator ammunition just getting there and now it's all downhill. What does it mean for those who've risen in the organization based on their technical knowledge or the strength of their ideas? A lot of firms value those hard skills over the soft skills. The culture is geared that way and so are the promotions. Somewhere along the line, the soft skills become more important in practice. But there is not the organizational recognition that this is the case. Being the smartest person in the room is fine, but not much help. 
Organizations today are more collaborative, require leadership and accountability at all levels, and are screaming out for insights into how to beat the competition. Teams need to have good teamwork. That means producing more collectively than what can be achieved by a couple of superstars. Getting the best ideas out of everyone in the team, ensuring clear, concise communication and a culture of going the extra mile in the plan execution are not driven from the hard skills toolbox. The leader's soft skills are required and now the gaps arise. Being the best technician runs its race at some point as we are overtaken by rivals. What will then happen to us for the rest of our work life? We need to be able to substitute I do it all with we do it all together. The key question is why would anyone in the team care? They don't. So we need the communication and motivational soft skills of the leader. Like the most successful sports coaches, we have to learn how to become excellent people leaders. When you get to 40, understand the clock is ticking and start working on your people management capability big time. I hope you enjoyed today's show and so please subscribe on YouTube. Share with your family, friends and colleagues. Become a regular. Our website details are on screen now, enjapan.dalecounty.com. It's awesome value, so please check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we are releasing content six days a week for podcasts Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show Tuesday for the Presentations Japan Series and every second Tuesday for the Business Touches You Know Share Show Wednesdays for the Sales Japan Series Thursdays for the Leadership Japan Series every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcast Show Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews, wherever you get your podcast. Also, every second Thursday, we release the Business Supro Television Show. Every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And every Saturday, Japan's top business interviews on YouTube. We appreciate your support. Please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people build their careers and businesses. And please join us in that endeavor. In episode 166, we are talking about sales pacing. Onagai Tashimas, please join me next week to master business here because that is what we all want, isn't it? Japan business mastery.